Belgium. Today I've flown thousands of miles to find out about the culture and the truth about this incredible country. From Dutch to French and even German, this is an incredibly diverse and welcoming place. From Belgian fries, beer, chocolate and mussels, while learning more about its history, its people, and most importantly answering that burning question, is this the most boring country on earth? What we find will definitely be something completely unexpected. So with that said, we are starting off with the most quintessential Belgian food and possibly the one I've consumed the most in my life, Belgian fries. French fries. Actually, it's Belgian fries. If you don't know, fries were invented here in Belgium in the 17th century. And today here in Brussels, I'm taking you to try some of the best fries in town. Follow me. First stop right here. And our first stop for Fritz Belgian fries is Fritland. And this is how they have it. So homemade Belgian fries, little so small, with sauce or without sauce. We're going with sauce, bringing a lot. Oh wow, look at all the fries being fried back there. Oh, and Alien's telling me that Andalus is their favorite sauce that they have. I think it looks like 12 different sauces. Mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, barbecue, cheese, Andalus, pita, Brazil, curry ketchup. Oh, and they have some spicy. Samurai, American, Pili Pili, Dallas. The spicy looks good. Let's do the mix. Takad. Is that how you say it? Takad? I'm trying to learn French, man. I'm trying to learn. Takad. 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 You make the sauce Andalus and Samurai. There you go. I thought he was going to pour the sauce on top, but you're saying when you ask to take away or get away, yep. that's when you pour it. So get away or take away, we can put it aside or you can take it like on top of the fries. So when you eat here, it's mostly on the side. And this one, Andalus. Mm. Scale one like, to ten. Scale one to ten. I know, it's a, it's a mix. It's like garlic, spice in there. Look at some paprika in there. I don't know. So which one is that? The loose. It's this one, it's spicy. Here you go. Wow. Just like that, to go. Let's go eat. Look at that, it looks so creamy. Let's sit down somewhere here. I love this. They're doing a lot of construction around us, so bear with us. I'm gonna try some of this samurai. Samurai sauce. So again, this is how you get it to go. If you're gonna sit down, they're gonna give you the sauce in little containers. Again, this is a very creamy sauce. Not too spicy, that one. Samurai, I mean, it has a thing. I like the garlic and the, and the loose. Whoa, the fries are good. Dutch potatoes, hand cut right here. Oh, wow. So Freeland dates back to 1978, and he said the trick is mix the sauce. Highly recommend this place. Whoa, I love it. That's a lot of fries for five bucks. Yeah, but look, the pigeons are helping me. Look, look, taking my fries. And the best part about this place, some of the staff is from Albania. Hey, Albania, Let's keep going. I'm gonna keep eating though. Extra saucy. I have to get more sauce. The sauce is what makes it. I mean, the fries are good. The sauce, molto bono. That's Italian, I forgot how to say it in French. Delicious. Look at that sauce. Oh, the crispiness, oil. You want the proof of me getting fat, huh? Oh, but that's fair enough. This is awesome. The one thing I'll tell you about going on a fries tour, get ready to eat a lot. I'm full after the first one. Two more or three more? So I think it's two more, but I'm good. Like one beer and that's it, man. To sleep. <laughs> Next fries is here at Friterie. La Friterie. Whoa, what was that? A pigeon. <laughs> My gosh. Hello, hello. Bonjour. Um, yeah. yeah, I spoke to somebody on Instagram. Yeah. Yes. Our boss. I know. Perfect. He sent me the message. Hey. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Merci. Thank you so much. All right, my man. So what are we doing here? Uh, we're making the fries, the Belgian fries. Belgian fries. They look different. So the, we were in that's, Friedland. Yeah. This is different. You guys uh, do it a little thicker. We're doing it by the traditional recipe. First of all, we're using the fresh potatoes that are locally being produced just 20 kilometers out of the Brussels. So we cut them, as you may see, by this machine uh, to the form of the fries. Then we deep fry them two times in a beef oil. We use two kinds of beef fat. First time, uh, it's the purified one, so it's more like a butter. And the second thing is uh, 
not clarified beef fat. So we mix them together and it gives the best flavor that we can get. This is our potatoes, not peeled from outside, just cut it off, uh, not the best parts of it. <laughs> it's the potatoes, well. And uh, we cut them just like this, so we get the form of the fry. We use like 100 kilos per day or 150. 150 kilos per day? Yeah. It's a lot of fries. Welcome. After that, when it's ready, as you may see, this is the temperature here. It's 130. Just basically drop them there, I'm trying to make it as big as possible. So as even as you can. Yeah. Then they go to the oil, and they go with a timer of uh, 925 or about that. Not that necessary. So they will stay there, and it's the first time. Then we put them uh, on the top of the machine, so it wouldn't take so many time when we will prepare it for the customers because it's 10 minutes and here it's five minutes more or so. So we can make it a bit more quickly. So for us, what do you recommend? I mean, we're gonna get a big one. Yeah. And uh, yeah, this, this, don't, don't we're having us, a lot. Don't get us too fast. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I can suggest you the Andalus sauce, which is the classical Belgian as far as mayonnaise. Uh, basically, it's the tomato basis with some mayonnaise, spicy mustard and onions inside of that. So it's slightly spicy. I don't know if you tried it already. So I just tried it, but I didn't know what was in it. Actually, the truffle mayonnaise is very popular in total in Belgian and French kitchen. The Brazil sauce is really nice as well with salty things, pineapple basis with some whiskey inside of that, as well in, as in cocktail. In cocktail we're using the ketchup, mayonnaise and uh, some whiskey as well. The, Man, I'm making my far, own fries. As far as officer will not come here. No. So, got some gloves, yep. of course, keep it sanitary. Throw some fries in the cage. Yeah, don't be afraid of it. Don't be it's afraid? And then just put it in the oil. Is that good or? Yeah, it's fine. For but for the big, I would put it a tiny bit more. Then and you take the spoon. And these are already ready. Just pull it as for yourself. Just like fill it to the rim, man. They look good. They're like gold, goldish brown. I actually like the size on this compared to the last place. Like these are thicker, longer, and of course they're different potatoes, right? A lot of Belgian places, they are getting their supply from Argentina that the potatoes been already God. frozen and so. Not so good. Normally they don't cut it themselves, which we're doing. Yeah. So here is the salt first. So That's salt? Good. Is that good enough? Uh, I think so. Okay. You need it for yourself, so yeah. <laughs> then you just uh, put some mayonnaise on one side of it. Yeah. Just push it harder. Don't be afraid of it. You can just pump it a few times really hard. Yeah. A oh. more quick, it's fine. Okay, is that fine? Some more. Of course, it's the mayonnaise. No, dude. <laughs> like that. It's then too much. Some ketchup here. Some ketchup. You put so it on the other side. On the other side, of that. And here are some fried onions. So you just take the spoon and dump it on the top. That's amazing. Look at that. That's it. You're done. Wow, what a beauty! Get that mayo, ketchup. This is the fries that you have just cooked. I love the fries. They're super soft, but then crispy. They have a different taste from the other ones I had. That's the point of it. We're using uh, all the time different potatoes because uh, the supply is always different. So we're using only the best quality ones. So we're changing them from times to times. So. The Andalus probably, as you tried before, the Brazil is really cool as well. So uh, Andalus, yeah. And this, this is again tomato. This one is the Brazil. It's the, with the pineapples and whiskey inside of that. Yeah. Whoa. You feel that pineapple? Oh, that's true. Uh, here is some Andalus that you've tried before. Andalus. And that's, you said tomato, mayonnaise. It's the tomato basis with mayonnaise, spicy mustard, and onions inside of that. Yeah, so they all have a little kick. I like this one the most. Of these four. Yeah, the Brazil. But for me, this is like the top four. This one over here? Yeah, it's uh, the garlic sauce based on the real garlic inside of it and uh, eggless mayonnaise. Mmm, that's nice. It's like a more liquidy, because these yeah. are very pasty yeah. compared to this one. It's a more creamy than this one. That's the point of uh, the eggless mayonnaise. That's the best one. My family comes from Umbria, Italy, where land of truffles. I know, I was working in an Italian restaurant. That's the best one. Yeah. Yeah. So I need to grab that and go like this. I love your place. 
and what street are we on? Because you have many different here locations. Here we're about the yeah. yeah. So here it's the point called Ojiman, but I think it doesn't really matter the name. So it's closer to the mannequin piece. Also, there is a place closer to the Khan Plus. Yeah, it was smaller. Yeah, there is a, probably, have, you have seen it, it's a bike with the price like that. Yeah, exactly the same. Uh, the other point of us, I can show you, it's just here, like uh, two minutes away. And it's really good for the content, I think. Amazing. So since 1998, making some of the best fries in Belgium, possibly the best. I still haven't tried enough. I've tried only two places so far. It's a multicultural city. Everywhere you go, somebody's speaking a different language. And again, three languages, official languages in this country. I'm so full. I'm going to have to taste to go. Oh my gosh. Potato coma. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Thank you. Whoa. That was good. But come with an appetite. Seriously. And here we go. Our last fries spot is Fritz Atelier. This place is amazing. They have three locations. Uh, three locations so far, right? Antwerp, here. Oh, also one in The Hague, in, uh, in Holland. We have an extra one in the outlet shopping center of Rosendahl, where people can shop, shop and enjoy fries afterwards. And this is Erica. She's going to be showing me around today. And what do you recommend? I definitely recommend the Flemish beef stew. Um, it's a big classic. Uh, people love it here. It, it captures the essence of good fries, in our opinion. Everything we had earlier is really good, but this is like traditional Flemish beef stew. We had it earlier today, but the gravy that it comes with is so rich, it's so good, and does it have like beer in it? I think. It's made with dark brown beer. Well. Dark brown beer. Let's do a Stella. I haven't done a Stella yet. Let's do a big one. And uh, later on this trip, we will be going to Leuven, and that's where Stella Ortois uh, was born. Wow, that's a good beer. So I personally don't drink Stella in America, but here I will. You're in Belgium, right? I'm in Belgium. <laughs> yeah, I think there's so many Belgian beers to try. There's too many. Here you go. Oh, I'm excited. Enjoy. Better than water. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go in the back. Let's see the fries being made. And so they get Dutch potatoes, right? Dutch potatoes indeed. They're, um, they're made in the clay soil of Zealand. Clay um, soil? Yeah. Wow. Um, and the agria kind, so it's really a unique kind. And well, they get them from the Netherlands, but yeah. So the Parmesan and basil is actually, it used to be our summer special, but we brought it back because it was so popular. It's actually just fries with Parmesan cheese on top. There's tomato powder, there's a lovely basil mayonnaise, which sounds like a little bit of pesto flavor, and then we finish off with some lime zest. This is one of the fun fact, the salt. It's actually a mixture of salt and salt um, sea samphire. So it gives it a sea kind of flavor. Oh, I like that. They consume more fries in Belgium than they do in France. And oh yeah, Belgium. definitely. These are really pretty fries. So their oil is vegetable oil. The other places I went to, it was mixed with beef fat. So this one's a little more vegan. So you can have a vegan fries. It's so already. She also gave me two cups for different sauces. She recommends the Burmese. Burmese? And then which other one do you recommend? Uh, the classic. Classic. Let's go try it. That looks amazing. Perfect. Yeah. Merci. Flemish stew gravy. What a beauty. I'm excited. This is like insanely good. The fries look nice and golden, crispy, a little bit of salt. Oh, and this is mustard right on top, right? Mustard seeds. Oh my gosh. We kept the best for last. This is the ultimate way to eat fries. Incredible gravy, soaking through all the fries. Now it's falling apart. Mmm, the mustard seeds, phenomenal. Pairs very well with the Burness. Right? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I'm like in a food coma today. <laughs> I've been eating nonstop. The gravy is good. The gravy is amazing. The gravy just like it soaks in. Everything starts to fall together. Wow. I'm happy. Just the gravy alone. Yeah. Super good. There's nothing like fries in Belgium. Everywhere else. I have to keep the anomalies anyway, I'm just gonna pop it right here. Some people are kind of in a debate about it, but for me it's the best Andalus ever. Best Andalus ever? Yeah, it really is. She said I have to try the Andalus sauce. Best one in Belgium. Hmm. Hard to compare. I ate that earlier today, right? Or was it yesterday? No, seriously, this is the best thing ever. Holy. No, it's Belgian fruit. 
All right, cheers, guys. Definitely come here. This place is amazing. I love the setting, super high ceilings, very classical, and the food is incredible. They have fries, but they also have other stuff. They have burgers, they have fish burger, cheddar burger, chicken chunks, but the Flemish stew fries. Mm. Wow, that's it guys, hope you enjoy the fries, peace.